Welcome to Lincoln Orthopedic Physical Therapy, our first YouTube experience with my friend Josh and myself. I'm Jake Denell, physical therapist, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about spinal stenosis. The first thing you hear, this is not Josh, okay? This is our spine. And what spinal stenosis is, is a narrowing where your nerves come out of your back. It's a common ailment that affects most of us as we age to different degrees. There are many great resources that I'm going to re uh, reference. Probably the best is you can go to eOrthopod, which will go on our website for you to see, as well as MailClinic.com. These handouts are excellent patient information for you, which will cover everything that I'm going to cover with you in written form while I do it in video form. The first thing to realize as we have our spine here is spinal stenosis is a narrowing where the nerve comes out between the what we call the transverse foramina, and that is right here. You'll see these little yellow nerves. It can be caused by a disc bulge. You see this red part right here, and it can be caused by also arthritic spurring right here. Whatever the cause, it's a narrowing that affects you when you stand and walk in particular. So we would say this, to avoid the symptoms, try not to be in what we call the extended position where I am now. Standing, stationary standing, and walking are two things that usually aggravate spinal stenosis. You'll notice some relief if you do the, what we call the grocery cart test, which is basically when you go shopping for groceries and you put your hands on the cart itself, you get relief and you can walk a lot further. That's one indication of spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is treated in a number of ways. One way is conservatively, and the other way is surgically. Depending on your symptoms, on how long you can sit and stand, uh, basically will determine your type of treatment. Sometimes you'll get what's called epidural steroid injections, which are injections into this area to reduce inflammation. Uh, sometimes the surgery will come out and they'll just remount this space and make it larger. The research shows that surgery is the most effective with the long-term relief but also you can get good relief with conservative treatment. With conservative treatment, uh, usually the exercises are done in sitting and in a flex position. Flex means just bent forward. And you can see in our spine, when we bend forward and I demonstrate these exercises, the space will increase here by about 25%. That increase a lot of times is enough to give relief once you've been standing and you're able to avoid or manage to control your symptoms without any surgical intervention. Also a strong core, which we talk about your abdominal muscles and your back muscles are important to keep that strong and stabilized. And we'll show you how to do that also. Good posture helps with that and I'll demonstrate that here in a few minutes also. So um, anyway, that's kind of an outline of what uh, we're talking about with regards to spinal stenosis. And now what is really the important part is what is conservative management and what exercises can we do?